You know, in most cases, our fathers give us a foundation on which to build. Tonight, a North Nashville man is building his own foundation in his late father's memory. News Channel 5's Brent Frazier is live near the site where TSU retiree Ed Wisdom Jr. was murdered last fall. And Brent, this really is an example of a family fighting crime on the front end, right? Indeed, Rory. You know, Ed Wisdom III will tell you he'd already laid the groundwork for his long before his father's murder, just days before Halloween. Well, now, what better time to tell the world than Father's Day that the project is finished? Through wisdom, a house is built. When it comes to being a great dad, Ed Wisdom III learned from the best. I never had to go outside of my household to look for an idol, uh, look for a role model. Everything I learned about uh, in terms of being a man, I learned from my father. And now the younger wisdom wants to share a bit of that wisdom. I've spoken in prisons. With anyone who will listen, realizing not every young man was blessed with a phenomenal father. I want to try to reach individuals before they enter into the juvenile or the prison system. Wisdom is using his father's unsolved murder for empowerment to turn pain into gain. He's building from the ground up a nonprofit, all in his father's memory. Hello, I'm Ed Wisdom, founder of the Edward H. Wisdom Jr. Foundation. The Edward H. Wisdom Jr. Foundation even already has a public service announcement. Join the Edward H. Wisdom Jr. Foundation. And Ed Wisdom's late father would be bursting with pride. The buttons are popping off of his chest. According to Ed Wisdom's mother. You know, I've had people who stopped at the house and they see me in the yard or see the car there and they would say, I just want to, you know, tell you how sorry I am. Your husband was a good man. A good man who did not deserve to die like this. The Wisdoms are designing their foundation to target at-risk individuals, low-income kids, and youngsters who are deprived in more areas than just socioeconomic. The same kind of M.O. that might make up Ed Wisdom Jr.'s killers. But this is one family taking a proactive approach, opting to be, rather than victims, victorious in their endeavor. Ed Wisdom III has speaking engagements already lined up for the weekend, in fact, tomorrow and Sunday, the first Father's Day. He will be without his male mentor. Live on the North Side, Brent Frazier, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks so much, Brent. To learn more about the Edward H. Wisdom Jr. Foundation, just log on to our website, newschannel5.com.